Jim introduced me, Web Analytics Demystified, myself, my partner John Lovett, our partner in Europe, we do strategic uh, consulting for companies trying to get their web analytics house in order. Uh, a friend described us as McKinsey uh, for web analytics, and I thought that was an apt description. I want to start with essentially a, a conundrum, the conundrum that we all face. When we attempt to stop thinking about the tools and start thinking about how these tools are put to work for our benefit within the organization. And the first thing you have to consider is that there is no one way to succeed with web analytics. There is no model, there is no one thing you can do every time, repeatedly, that will make you successful. As successful as, as Dylan described at Intuit, as Avinash was at Intuit, as Joe Megabo, who we'll see later today, is at Expedia. There's no one thing that you can do. But the problem is, there is only one way to succeed at web analytics. There is only one thing that collectively we can do. And so when I wrote this down, this is how I felt. Gah! How do we reconcile this, right? There's not a single path we can take, but there's only one way to be successful. All of you, by virtue of being here, have all of the pieces. Nobody lacks for technology. Nobody lacks for technology. Maybe you don't like the technology you have, I hear that. Maybe you don't like your account manager. The account managers laugh. But nobody, nobody lacks for technology. Nobody lacks for people as much today as they did years ago. And businesses understand process. So you have all of the pieces they just need to be assembled. And I wanted to use a different logo, and at the last minute they said, no, no, use your own. But you have everything, you just need to put it together the right way, that one way. There are no directions you can follow. You can read my books. As Jim said, I'm giving Web Analytics Demystified and the Big Book of Key Performance Indicators away totally for free. Go to the website, find free books. Grab them and read them, Avinash, Jason Burby's, Brian's books, Jim's book on social media. But there are no directions you can follow. There's nothing that says, if you start here and do this and this and this, generically, you will be better. There's no model that works for web analytics. There is only people and process and technology. The three-legged stool analogy persists because if you don't do any one of these things the right way, if you try to do web analytics without people, smart people, certified people now, thanks to the Web Analytics Association, you're going to fail. If you try to do it without process, I think all of you know how that works, and we need the technology. So people, process, and technology. This is very easy to understand at a high level, right? I've been talking about this for years, Jim, Brian, Jason Burby, others have been talking about this for years. You get the right tools for the job. You focus on your business process, you bring in the right people. And when companies do this, when our clients do this, and the companies that present here do this, the ROI is almost unimaginable. I now work with a company who is producing hundreds of millions of incremental dollars. I know a company that is producing a double digit gain from an analysis and testing program. And you can all do this when you focus and when you really double down. So you get the right tools, right? You have to have the right tools. The problem that we've had with the tool set and the vendors over the past dozen years is this belief that there is one tool, there is one right piece of technology that will answer all of our questions. And that's simply not true. And it is less true today than it was five years ago because you are smarter today than we were five years ago. You are better at this. You are more sophisticated as an audience of expert practitioners. So the new tool set, you have to have simple reporting applications. Google Analytics is the bomb for simple reporting applications. It's getting more sophisticated, it's getting better, it's faster, it's stronger. It's like the Steve Austin of web analytics technologies. But it is an amazing piece of simple visualization technology, Clicktail is similar, there's lots of emerging technologies that you can put in the hands of business users and they'll get it. 
And they'll run with it, and they'll feel good about the data they have to make their decisions. But you cannot stop there. You, collectively, the certified analysts, need to have powerful data manipulation tools. You need Omniture Insights. You need Web Trends Visitor Data Warehouse, Core Metrics Explorer, SAS, SPSS. You need big iron to answer hard questions. You can't have one or the other. You can't stop there either. Increasingly, because of social, because of mobile, because of this expanding universe of stuff the boss wants us to track, you need to have flexible data repositories. You need to not have a rigid structure of EVARs and SPROPs or DCS bars or whatever it is to collect data into. You need a generic container that you can say, we've got a new business problem. Let's put data in. And you take that container and you apply rich analytical modeling capabilities. Again, SAS. SPSS, statisticians. Statisticians aren't scary, they're our friends. Right, Dylan? But we need to be able to do this, or we are going to hit a wall in our use of technology. You need all four of these technologies applied roughly equally. So when you go back to the office, try to make this actionable for you. When you go back to the office, think to yourself, talk with your management team. Do you make effective use of the tools that you have? Do you have powerful tools, and are people trained, well-trained? Are they using the right technologies to answer appropriate questions? Ask yourself that. More and more people are saying, yes, we do. More companies are investing in good technology, so this is less of a problem, but it is not a universal yes. It's very easy to walk the halls, go to the lobby bar, talk to people. How do you feel about your technology? Oh, let me tell you about my vendor. I get a lot of that. You need to reset expectations and get the right technology. You need to focus on business process because spreadsheets do not cut it anymore. You cannot just push out columns and rows at people and expect them to make good business decisions. People ask you for spreadsheets because they don't know what they need to answer their business questions. When they say, I need you to send me some data, what they're saying is, is I need you to help me answer a business question, but it's easier to send data. We need to stop sending data. This is the hierarchy of analytical needs. At the base of the pyramid, we have data, and we have tons of data. But the opportunity for all of us is to move up in this hierarchy, the same way we do when we find clothing and shelter and relationships in Maslow's hierarchy. We need to find information and insights and recommendations, and Avinash actually put this, in his presentation, he talks about the center of his uh, um, multiplicity. His multiplicity is insights, but it's not just insights. It goes beyond that. So as the volume at the bottom decreases, the value to your organization increases. So the goal for you is to not make a series of checkboxes for how to do web analytics. It is to simply figure out how you can stop delivering data and start delivering insights, and most importantly, Recommendations. Now you recognize that this takes effort. This absolutely takes effort. But nothing good is free, right? Nothing good is free. Most of you today, many of you, probably fewer of you here than other places I go, <clears throat> have data. Most of what your business actually needs or all of what your business actually needs are information and insights <clears throat> and the boss should get recommendations. You should be working to build, and the best of the best have built, organizations that are so trusted that when they walk in and say, this homepage sucks, and here's why, here's the analysis, and here's our recommendation for how we can fix this, they are so trusted within the enterprise that the bosses and the powers that be say, let's do it, let's go, and let's test the results. And we hear those stories. You'll hear them from the keynote presenters. We hear those stories more and more. The challenge is for you collectively to start delivering information, insights, and recommendations. So when you get back to the office, think. Do you produce information? Do you give information in context or data in context? Do you produce insights and recommendations? Are you giving the business something that they can actually do based on the analysis you produce or are you just chugging out spreadsheets and giving them KPIs? The most important thing to ask yourself is do you have a strategy and a governance model? 
You can never move up that hierarchy of analytical needs until you have a strategy and a governance model. How do we interact with the financial organization? How do we interact with the business units? How do we interact positively with information technology? Who is responsible for our success? Which VP, which senior director is responsible for our success? And until you have that governance model, it's churn and thrash and waste. You need to have the right people. This has been well established. The question is not, do we need people? It is, how many people do we need? I wrote a report in 2004. Um, I, Jim listed some of the things I've done in my career here. I'm proud of many of those things. I'm proud of pointing out back in 2004 that you all were necessary, that you needed to have jobs, that you needed to be valuable contributors within the enterprise, because that's really where it started. But I made a mistake. I produced this graphic and I said, look at your spend and look at your internal resources and figure it out. And that was too complicated. Here is the new rule for staffing. For every dollar you invest in web analytics in your organization, take 50 cents and spend it on technologies and take the rest and spend it on people. 50-50. That is how the best of the best are doing it. We've surveyed a half a dozen companies. We continue to survey. And when we find rock stars, they're not spending 90% of their budget on technology. They're not spending 90% of their budget on people. They have a balanced analytics organization where they've got testing and analytics and voice of customer and customer experience management technologies and the people to run them. And when I engage with clients, one of the first things I ask is, how much do you spend on technology? How much do you spend on people? And the more out of whack those things are, I know the harder my job is going to be. So start to balance yourselves. The web analytics team, it's not one person. You do not have to be as ethnically diverse nor handsome or shiny toothed as this group. <laughs> but you need to have a team of people. I use this slide too much. The guy in the middle is intimidating me at this point. I'm like my dad. You need to have a team of people. You need a testing program manager. You need senior analysts. You need junior analysts. You need project managers. You need a statistician at some point. You need IT's help. You need a team. The team has to be organized in a model that is not just every man for him or herself. But you need a structure. And the only structure that works, in my experience, I've only done this for 12 years, so there could be other models that work, but the only thing I ever see work is hub and spoke, where you have a center of excellence for digital analytics as different from market research, perhaps co-located with them, as different from BI, as dotted to them perhaps, but a center of excellence for the things we talk about here at eMetrics, and they support a diverse organization. And the support is not Send us your problems, we'll send you your answers sometime. The support is there are super users and power users and trained individuals in the business who also have skin in the game with Omniture or WebTrends, CoreMetrics, Unica, Google Analytics, NedStep, WebTrack. They understand those systems too, and you create a support ecosystem internally. It's the only thing that I ever see works. So when we apply staffing to this hierarchy, right, Spokes typically deal, the business units typically deal in data and information, right? They put that data in context. But the recommendations and insights largely come out of that center. They come out of that center of excellence so that you can have controls over how it's produced and what it looks like and how it's presented. And this works very well when you set expectations appropriately. Same for applying to technology. The spokes will use that simple interface. I wrote a post called The Bifurcation of Web Analytics where I said I view a future, I see a future where you folks will use Google Analytics in the business and something like SaaS or Omniture Insights in your center of excellence. And a lot of people were very critical of that. Most of them were vendors who did not get to sell tons and tons of technology that goes underutilized. But a handful of people came back and said that's exactly what we're trying to build. Our business people in the spokes don't get solution X. We need something that they'll get and use and understand. And I said, you do, but you need powerful tools and you need a process for supporting those people. And that's how it works. 
when it works very well. So ask yourself, do you have the right people? Do you have enough people? Do you have any dedicated resources for web analytics? Are there enough? Are they appropriately deployed? Are they appropriately resourced within the business? Do you get enough out of them? Because there's lots and lots of open jobs for web analytics, but I know lots and lots of people who don't do the highest quality work they could do. So don't be this guy, right? Don't get frustrated. Don't cry. Focus. People, process, and technology. Find that balance. It's almost zen-like when you do it so well. And the few companies I know who just crush it with web analytics, they don't think anything of it. I say web analytics is hard, and they say it used to be. That blows me away. It absolutely blows me away. Imagine not having to deal with the frustrations that you wake up to, you deal with all day, and you go to bed to every night. Imagine not having to deal with that. So Brian's got to get up here and talk to you. I want to leave you with a couple of thoughts. There is no one way to succeed at this. If somebody comes to you and says, I have a model for how you can do this perfectly every time, question their motives. There is only one way to succeed at this. If somebody says technology will solve all your problems, question their motives. It's people, process, and technology. And if you really invest in this internally, oh, my iPad messed me up. If you really do this, you will succeed beyond your wildest dreams. And we've seen this now. Years and years I've been giving this presentation, and we have more examples of companies for whom web analytics is a critical competency, who changes their approach to customer, who produces millions of incremental dollars, and is a big factor in their success. Thank you very much.